So just see, you can see that CPU, CPU is now giving 100% processing. You can see from the graph, the graph is now has moved upward to 100%. So the number of these colors are being shown representing 8 CPUs. So all the CPUs are now performing in 100% capacity. This is Rashid Hussain and you are watching Computational Chemist YouTube channel. This video is about how to use Autodoc Vena in parallel mode so that you can use your system's processing power to its full extent. So let's start. Type in Google Vena parallel. Go to its first link. This is GitHub. This repository is deposited by Mukherum. I'll use this repository. You can read readme file. It has outlined how to use this repository for running Vina in parallel mode. So let me copy this repository URL link. So if you have git installed in your system, you can copy this URL and get this repository clone in your system. Otherwise, you should download the zip file and extract it and then use it. So I'm gonna copy this link and clone this repository in my system. So let me make a directory. Demo, I'll go to this directory and I will copy the link git clone so this repository is being cloned in my system I will go to this clear so these are all the files contained in this directory source so if I open this file in graphical mode, so this is the ligand folder. It contains all the compound that you want to dock into the receptor. So if you have your own compound, you can delete all these compound and copy your compound here. And this is the receptor. So if you have your own receptor, you should delete this file and use your own receptor. When we go to this Vena folder, uh, this is the same receptor file which we have seen in previous directory. So we will delete this file and use our receptor file. This is the configuration file. So if you are using your own receptor, you will change the name with the receptor and these are the parameters that tells the vena to uh, dock the compound into the particular binding group so if you have your own receptor you will change these values accordingly we'll run this file run mpi vena bash let's open in text editor so what it's doing, it's creating the list of ligand that are contained in the ligand directory and copying those names into the ligand list a text file. It is making two directories, output and process like ligand. MPRN is a package that allows you to run Vina in parallel mode. And then this one is copying the line which is starting from the first uh, from the number one and it extract the values in this particular column and copying those values to the results so um, this is particularly uh, the model model first model of every compound and these are the values that are containing in this column the binding affinity the binding affinity of every compound first model is being copied to the result 
file and this results file is later on used to sort the results so we'll see how the values and results look like let me know I should close this so next thing I need to do is to make the all the files executable because this program will run these files so these programs file these files has to be in executable mode so chain mode plus X make these files executable and the static will make all these files executable so if we see this that they have turned to green then it means that they are now executable file so if we go to CD Vina so they are not executable yet so we'll make them executable as well so they are ex executable now so one last thing I need to do is to add this path PWD to my bash RC file uh, it will actually make the file make the path accessible anywhere by the system by the, by the program so we'll export this path so we'll go to this is the use for home directory and the bash rc file is present in home directory and we'll open this we'll type export path this is the syntax and we have copied the path this is the dollar sign so close this and we'll source this file in order to make the changes in this file well, this is case sensitive So now I one thing that I just skip in run MPI mode. These are the number of processes that are defined here. In my system, there are only four CPUs. Let me show you. So these are four CPUs, and the percentage is showing the usage of each CPUs, and also be shown in graphical representation so when we'll use the CPUs for CPUs in your case if there are more CPUs then you can change these values or less then uh, you can also if there are two CPUs then you can change this value to two so what it will do it will use the CPUs 100% so that's why we are using Vina in parallel mode in order to make full use of our um, computational computer processing power so let me run it and then I'll show it the percentage the usage the usage the percentage usage of each CPU now we are good to go So just see you can see that CPU CPU is now giving 100% processing you can see from the graph the graph is now has moved upward to 100% so the number are these colors are being shown representing each CPUs so all the CPUs are now performing in 100% capacity so let it run so it has been run successfully now it has 
the CPUs has come to the normal usage you can see now we'll see the results all the results are present in CD out uh, in output directory the text files are they, they contain the log file if I open that all of the log files okay there are 10 models and the first model has binding affinity minus 5.6 okay likewise and if we see results cat results so these are these were the compounds and each compounds this is the each, each compound binding energy when we see the sorted results the compounds are sorted on the basis of binding energy from low to high so that's it about how to run Autodoc Vina in parallel mode. I hope this is helpful. See you in next video. Thank you.